Welcome to this presentation of some artwork depicting some of the civil architecture currently housed in the Lapidarium of the Deva Museum of Dacia and Roman Civilization. This video is also the fourth in a series of five videos based on the work done during the photogrammetry workshop pilot at Deva Museum in 2021. This is a votive column with a dedicatory inscription along its face. On the upper part is depicted laurels and beneath that a depiction of a cow. The three great Greek constructive orders, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian, were not only a topology of the capitals, but were standards for the proportions of the buildings. The ones corresponding to the Doric were lower, more robust, and in the case of those who used Corinth, they were taller, slimmer, and with Ionic somewhere in the middle. This is a pediment depicting Neptune flanked by fish. In Roman mythology, Neptune was the god of the sea whose ancient Greek counterpart was Poseidon. The differences in the depictions of the fish may be meant to represent the different natures of Salakia and Vanilia, who represent calm seas and turbulent seas, respectively. This inscription, carved into a thick slab of marble, is dedicated to Chilestus, and was likely very prominently displayed near a religious center. Chilestus Virgo is derived from a Carthaginian goddess Tanit, and is usually considered an epithet of Juno in Roman mythology as an aspect of Juno's role in Roman society as a goddess of childbirth and the wife of the god of the sky. This relief depicts the god Dispater and his consort, the goddess Proserpina. Dispater is closely associated with Pluto in Roman mythology and with Hades in Greek mythology. While Proserpina is another name for Persephone in Greek mythology, Dispater is the god of wealth and death, while Proserpina is the goddess of spring. The abduction of Persephone by Hades is mentioned briefly in Hesiod's Theogony, and is described in depth in the Homeric hymn to Demeter, and is usually considered to be an etiological myth explaining the changing of the seasons. The statuary in this presentation was photographed by a team of students in Archaeotex.